Assalamu alaikum everyone, yes I'm back with a new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to do this glitter blue eyeshadow. So let's get started. To start off any video I always use a headband. This is the headband I'm using from Beauty Goods. It's a really good headband. And this one was kind of different because it has these uh, prints on it. They're like bears. That's adorable. Same Velcro. Okay, I have worn the blue headband. Now on to the eye makeup. Here I'm just showing you that one of my eyes is more hooded and the other one is kinda not. So I have to adjust according to my eye shape on how I actually do my eye makeup. I will be using a viral TikTok hack of TikToker at Kat underscore Longoria where she uses fabric tape to do her eyeliner. She cuts a long piece of the tape and arranges it in a V shape across her face below her nose and stopping at the ends of her eyebrows. Now this hack will definitely help in achieving a symmetrical eye makeup look. I will use the Bourjois Contour Clubbing Waterproof in Ultra Black T54. I'm going to apply this only on the lid area. It doesn't have to be perfect or very neat because I will be smudging this in just a bit. Using a flat brush, I will softly diffuse the black all over the lid. Then using the same flat brush, I will dip it in black eyeshadow. I'm using the shade Blackout to set the base, pack the color near the eyeliner area and about halfway up the lid. Tap the brush gently along the mid to upper lid area to finish blending. The most important part is done. Now any eyeshadows that you use on top of this will start appearing smoky. With a light pink eyeshadow on a fluffy brush, I will start moving the brush in a to and fro motion on the crease area. Did I mention the shade name? It's called Limit and it's a beautiful matte eyeshadow shade. You can go for a soft look, but I will deepen the tone of pink eyeshadow by adding just a bit more to define the eye shape and blend until the edges soften. I will spray the flat brush with some setting spray before dipping it into the eyeshadow pan. This will help me pick up more pigment on the brush and intensify the color of the base eyeshadow. Doing this step also prevents the eyeshadow from creasing. So this is from Rachel Cosmetics. I got this from Jitta from Bashawat. Now I want to say it's written on this packaging. It is backed eyeshadow. I mean baked eyeshadow. So I was researching what exactly is baked eyeshadow. Well it's made with lots of oils and emollients and it's baked usually in an oven to get its texture. It often has a domed shape. It's generally gentler on the pigmentation when used dry. It's smooth and blendable making it easy to apply. It's a good choice for beginners or for people who are looking for easy, work-friendly looks. So this product is really good for anyone who has very oily eyelids. This is from Stageline. It is the Perfect Seal Powder Fixer. It is a liquid fixer for eyeshadows, all powder products. This is not waterproof as mentioned, but it does have staying power. This stuff rocks and it gives you a very foil look for your shadows. You just won't believe. So I've curled my eyelashes and I've added mascara. Then I will add the same blue baked eyeshadow on the lower lash line. I will apply the Bourjois Eye Pencil in black and using a brush I will smudge all of this together. I will use this makeup remover wipe, clean up any eyeshadow fallout under the eyes. That is why I personally always do the eye makeup first and then I will do the rest of the makeup. For eyelashes, I'll be using the same eyelashes I used in the previous video which is the Perry Beauty 3D Mink Hair Eyelashes in the style 3D11. Pop on your falsies. Change the hijab, and we're done. This is the final look. So everyone, if you really enjoyed watching this video, you know what to do. In case you don't know what to do, please don't forget to like, subscribe, press the bell icon so you're notified of any future videos that I might post, leave a constructive comment, and share this video. I know, I know, it's a lot to do, but I'll really appreciate it. As always, thank you so much for your support and encouragement. Thanks for watching. Until next time, Allah Hafiz. Bye. Thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. If you want to watch similar videos, please check out the playlist right here. Check it out.